this is the mobile philosopher and in this video we're going to see very quickly the new hangout options in gmail now this video is really just a part one because unfortunately as many people have read on the news hangouts unfortunately have taken out when you activate this the voice options so either way it's important to know that if we go here right near the arrow here we can click on this guy and if we go all the way down we can actually revert back to the old chat it'll say revert to old chat here we can click on that and gmail will slowly load itself back up again so we can look at the old chat for just two seconds so you can see what it looked like and as you can see it was just a normal chat up here there really wasn't much else here actually i don't even anybody here to see so it's sort of obsolete in this case here it comes popping up now many of you guys will have this is a rather new gmail so i don't have any phone on it but uh, you had the old hangout button here a video call and beside it normally you guys would have the little phone button but in this case the way things are going hangouts is going to take the place of this old system so we're actually going to go back in here click on this arrow here and we're going to click on try the new hangouts which is ultimately going to be the only option probably within the next couple of months. So we're gonna let this guy set himself up. Tells you it's connected here on the side and gives you some options. Now, instead of just having little green dots, we're going to have pictures. Very important here. If I start adding someone here, for example, it, unfortunately here, there's no one that can help me show you guys this, but uh, normally, uh, under the name, if someone is online, what you're going to find is a very thin green bar under the person's name that you'll see there. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find someone to be online, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen right now. So, uh, but that's the, that's the idea here is you're going to find a green bar under the person and that will tell you that the person is online. Either way, uh, continuing on here, Let's say I want to start a hangout. Well, I just start adding names here. And let's say I want to name this. And instead of clicking on the name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little check mark here, as you guys can see here. And what that does is it starts adding people that I'm going to add to this uh, new hangout here. So I can add this person here with another check mark. And I can continue on. And then finally, I'm going to choose either to chat or video chat with these people. Uh, hopefully in the future there will be another one which would be calling and SMS which right now are lacking at this moment in time. And so if I uh, click on chat here, I'm going to see that to, on the lower right hand corner this is going to pop up and I have a possibility of adding things here and down below here which would be for example a hi or whatever and these people would receive this message so I can press hi and press enter. I dearly hope Mark Zuckerberg does not respond to that, but either way, I can call these people up with video chat later on. I have a settings here, which gives me possibilities of notifications, canceling that. And then we have the possibility of adding other things, for example, smiley faces and whatnot here. There's quite a few options of stuff that I can add here. I can add very weird signs, actually. On top of that, click on that guy, for example. Um, okay, there we go. And so uh, this type of thing uh, can go on for a very long amount of time. I can actually make this go down or I can bring it back up again. I can put it into another tab and make it an entirely big full area here. Or I can go up to the upper right hand corner because otherwise you guys can get lost. Here we have the arrow to pull it back into Gmail. I'll click on him and that should bring it back here, down here. Or I can just close it. In this case, we'll just close this thing to finish off the chat. Now, unlike other systems, uh, these types of things can be saved. Looks like we're having a little problem here. This poor guy doesn't want to close the, close the chat. So we're going to click on that guy. Okay, that seems to have gotten rid of him. Uh, now, we have this type of thing here. As you can see here, we have this type of uh, little thing where it's cut in half, and this will be cut into fours even. I can actually go back to this hangout here, and it will open up. So instead of starting off new hangouts all over the place this actually is like a one continual conversation that never ends so we have the possibility here of continuing on here or just closing it again and uh, if i go under chats here you're going to see that i also have the history of this uh, under chats so i never lose this ever 
and it will give me the possibility of seeing the conversations that go, th go on during this time. And it will cut them up during the time frames that I was uh, chatting with these people at. But uh, it's very nice because I have a nice history and I can always open this up and then open that hangout and go right back to where I was at. So there really is no s s start and stop. It's a continual thing that I can just w open whenever I want and then close it again and open it up and continue on so that it's not so cut up. And there's a unified whole, there's a history that allows me to never lose anything. And for example, if I need a picture or if I need something else or someone sent me a date, I can always go uh, either here or under chats and find that information in the history of the same Hangout, which is always ready and on hand whenever I need it. So I hope this helps you guys in regards to using the new Hangouts. Please leave any comments down below and I will be more than happy to make a new video when we finally get the new options of SMS and uh, voice. Thank you very much.